lot of different types of casts and the typical traditional fly fishing cast that you see all the time is actually not the one at least i use the most maybe others do but it depends on this type of waters but the roll cast is one they use all the time and something that a lot of people maybe don't really have all the the ins and outs with so here's a little quick uh, tutorial on the roll cast so in doing our demonstrating our roll cast we want to bring our hand to where we can see it in our periphery you don't want to collapse in your wrist and be back here keep that rod tip up and create a d with the line What you're gonna do is keep your thumb on top of the cork and you really just wanna drive your thumb down. Bring your rod tip up. Have it arced a little out away from you. Create your D. Just drive your thumb down. Some of us are old enough to remember landlines and slamming the phone down on telemarketers. That's what I like to equate this to. Hang up on that telemarketer. I pause. I want to keep this here, make sure my D is where I want it to be. Turn it over. It's not a big movement. Create your D, drive it down. In this instance, a lot of times when you're roll casting, right-handed caster, I'm casting on the right side of my body. That line is eventually going to want to travel I think to my left. Instead of bringing your rod out in front of you across, you can do this and cast across your body. I turn my wrist out, bring my rod tip over my head. Create the D, pause, send it. This is just changing angles without having to alter much of your stance or have to deter or, you know, and again, there's nothing wrong with casting across your body this way. So if I want to go way to my left, I'm just going to turn my body in the direction I want this to travel. The water is going to create drag, which is going to help you load some energy in your rod. and you're gonna just turn over. A common mistake with roll casting is either they're trying to rush the cast and they're whipping it behind them and not giving themselves time to let the, the water sort of load a little energy for their cast. Another, the one I see more, more frequently is they're dipping the rod back here and they're pile casting because they're not creating a straight line with the rod tip. You wanna create a straight line when you flex, when you, when you tweak your wrist and you collapse in your wrist back here, now you're creating an arc. Um, I like to see a good strong wrist and I might flex a little bit my wrist but I really focus on trying to keep my wrist strong because it's such a subtle motion, it's just in your elbow. So keeping your wrist strong is the most critical part of this because when you, are, when you collapse in your wrist and you create an arc with the rod tip, You'll see the rod tip make an arc. You end up kind of piling your line up on the water. So by keeping your wrist strong and you're using the rod to do the work for you, you're gonna get a better extension out of your cast. That line's gonna roll out, open up beautifully in a nice roll. You're gonna turn your flies over more effectively versus having this big sloppy thing here pile up in front of you. Lift your rod tip up, keep your hand in your periphery, follow it down. Here's your bad one. Collapse back here, fling it. You're not getting a good clean turnover, you're getting piles. Here's your good one. Pause, drive it down, follow it down. You can learn something and no matter what level you are in fly fishing, beginner all the way up to expert, pick up little tidbits just on, from anybody who are experts like Whitney Inman who's a guide with the Angler's Edge. She went through the roll cast there for us and appreciate Whitney kind of taking some time and just giving the little tutorial. She guides up on the East Walker River. If you're looking for a professional that knows what they're doing and can put you on to fish on that river, 
let us know. We'll put you in touch with Whitney. She can take you out for a really successful day on the East Walker. And we'll see you right here next time on the Backcast.